Oh, look at the go, look at the go, look at the go. Oh, nice. Look at, look at that. Let's go, SD here, and welcome to Factorio Space Age. I did a little bit of changes from the previous one, just bring the belts all the way around. Just to make sure everything is going to fill up again and not going to back up. But like you can see, I'm missing a lot of items like the green ones. And the reason why is because I'm using a lot of them. I'm going to prepare myself a huge amount of everything. This one is almost done, so yeah, after a while, this should be fine. We're going to need a lot of these electric miners. Oh boy. And like you can see, science is done. Oh, let's unlock already the logistic science, the green ones. So that's done. What can we get from this? Ooh, a car. That's a nice thing. Trains. Yeah, we're going to need it. Oh boy. But we need to set this up. So first of all, we need to unlock this one. That will be done a little bit later on. And steel X, what do we need? Is the 50 steel plates. All right, we can do this. All right, I figured it out. If you place some plates in here, then you get steel. But this is not working. We need to fill it up. This should make the production of steel. Let's see. How much do we need? 50. Let's see if this will be done soon. I don't know what's the max out of this, but it will take some time. So I got a total of six. Should be fine. All right, look at that. There is a little bit in here. So if this one is done, we get a steel axe and then we can chop some trees a lot faster. Oh boy. And also these rocks. All right, so this will be unlocked soon. The logistics will be unlocked soon if we got all the materials in there. But that's when everything is backed up. And in the meantime, if these things are unlocked, that's crazy. I'm going to set up a ghost plan for the base that I want to make. So we get something big, nice and beautiful. And sorry for that, I'm going to skip a lot of parts. But yeah, this is all placing the belts, setting up the basic stuff. A little bit annoying, but it needs to be done to get something nice and sweet. Also, I've been searching all over the map. What's the best place to start? We got oil on this side, oil on this side. But we got a nice place to go from the bottom to the top. And I think I will bring the oil maybe by trains or by underground belts or something like that. Should be fine. But of course, I'm going to make a plan first and then we're going to build it. Alrighty, look at that, look at that. Yeah, you cannot see much, but if check out this side. I've set up some crazy things. Let's quickly check out the map. Look at how, how big it already is. It was taking me some time to get all these belts onto one line. I think it should be something like that. And then make a main bus. And of course it's dark. Really? Alright, that's fine. Let's check out. So I got in total 1, 2, 3, 4 copper lines in here. Then of course we got our iron. 1, 2, 3, 4. But look at this. So the iron plate should be the same ratio as the steel. So it should be 1 to 1. And I think it was also 24 in one row. So 48 with all of them together is like, let's see, 96. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of them. So I've made this design like this. Uh, it should be fine. Also, I have seen some people doing this. So I'm not going to say this is my design but i've done it like this it's looking quite nice it's all working so i got in total one two three four five bring them all to one line just to get one belt oh it was a lot and that's not done i got one more line in here this is stone i think we're going to need this also so that's also 48 in total just simple basic like this I don't know if that's the correct way to do it, but I've done it like this. If we're going to do one side, then we don't get enough on the other side. You can drag another belt down there. So I was thinking do something like this and then bring in two lines in here. To get two lines in here, I need to place 60 in total. I got 60 on this patch, but do some little balancing and all that stuff. So yeah, this works, I hope. 
then of course don't forget we need to bring in some coal i think that's also necessary later on we got just the basic stone that we're going to bring in i think it was landfill if i'm correct uh this one is going to need stone look at that 50 already but that's not unlocked for now let's check out the rest so we got our stone coal uh, bricks steel one two three four lines of this one look at that i placed some more belts in here just ghosted that maybe we're going to need some more and of course for copper so the plan is making something bring it back into here and so on and so on and we can drag this all the way down to here this should be a crazy spot to work with also i want to set up a new mall something like that uh, but then we need all the resources and before i'm going to push this i've dragged some coal down here all the way to this one so now we're producing massively 144 megawatts of power so first of all i want to automate these green circuit stuff electric circuits yeah also quickly look at that how much wood that i got that's crazy I already got so many power poles that's not normal 730 and this one is just maxed out it was a lot of work chopping down all the trees so i destroyed everything in here just bring it into the box bring it into the belt if we're going to need some more and now we can continue with the rest okay i think i've got it correct i hope so these are the blue ones i think they're a little bit too fast but if we can upgrade this one later on maybe this will work a little bit better so let's see everything is going in here the steel plates are going in here the copper plates are on this side drag them all to one space i hope this will be a full line let's check it out this should be fine a little bit more a little bit more it's getting close there almost all right been checking this out so it takes some time before it's going to fill up to the max so i think it's because the belts are a little bit too slow maybe i need some more copper yeah i need more copper uh 900 is not enough so what i can do for example do wait let's try to grab one in here just in case and then bring this like so turn this down this way and let's say we're going to bring in this to this one and then we can drag it in here so now we get more copper but i know this is not correct so let's set the priority to the right all to the right and then yeah the rest we will see later on this should back up now because that's a lot better all right this one is already backing up so let's grab a lot of them just to see if they are going to work all right this should fix the problem so i did make a mistake uh, check it out the website if the website is correct i will add the website on the description just why not but i need like 30,050 per minute and one belt i think it's 900 maxed out and i like to get everything maxed out as fast as possible that's the plan on this game we need to max out everything even the signs so we need to set up the green one uh, let's check it out if we got something like this we need transport belt and inserters oh and then we need to automate this so i want to get the science up and running all right let's do the next part the science all right it's about time to power everything on then we can see if everything is going to work i hope i've done this correct but we shall see let's make sure we get the power line all the way to another place something like this maybe all right let's check it out so we got the copper plates we got the iron plates we got the green circuits this should work normally i don't think it's 100 percent because this will not get a full line why didn't i make this 100 percent? because we need so many resources that's crazy i've done it like this just 
yeah i think it's looking nice also this is a part of a design that i got from somebody uh, it's a great guy so all honors to him but i changed a little bit in here and it's working perfectly it's not the big amount but it's working so we are getting the yeah we're getting everything so quickly this one is making the inserters this one is making the belts then this one of course needs the inserters and the belts just to get the green they're going to be on the left side if i explain one side then you know it's the same on the other side so this should work normally then of course balancing them so we got one line let's see because i've got a nice location to put everything in there i hope i'm getting to the first one all right just right on time let's quickly do a few more things i got a lot of red ones already let's bring them in here all right so look what's going on oh that's this one missing one power pole that's problem fixed look at that go i love this design i love this thing it's a lot of power it's going to use i know but we've got more than enough power now you can see it's going all the way around till it's of course maxed out so let's wait until it's maxed out and then we can do some research oh boy oh boy oh boy just quickly why did i place it in here look at that that's perfectly in the middle if we're going to bring all of them into one spot that should be a nice solution i hope it's correct so and of course i forgot one thing let's make sure we got a radar in here so we always can see what's going on all right just like that they're already maxed out all right like you can see this line is not perfect and all the rest is okay what i'm doing is grabbing everything from one side only and if we're going to do that then we got the problem priority is to the right and then to the rest so how can we fix this we need to balance this stuff uh, let's see if i can remember how to do this uh, something like this and then we should bring in one into the middle or something like that and then i think two in here i think it should be like this and then this is not well yeah this is also a little bit balanced but this should be a little bit better with i think something like this yes something like this should be the one and then this could go to the left this will go to the right to the right uh to the left delete this one this one so all right i think this is the perfect way to balance four lines into four lines so if i'm wrong please let me know in the comment but i think this should be it so we can always copy this one and place it in the blueprint designs i got a few in here already just the basic stuff now let's see if we are doing everything correct this is working we can add some more balancing in here if we're going to use the other lines it seems to be all working i you don't have something like this is this 100 percent working no i don't think it's it's possible not like satisfactory or something like that but this is working oh it's backing up already yeah more than enough all right let's start and we are going to the dark again that's cool all right here we are so i've turned off the map just to get a little bit of a nice view let's uh, press the t button and let's start unlocking some so for example start automation with this one yeah we can unlock some more we can also do tool belt wait if we unlock the automation we can do lap speed let's do that two times oh yes speed up everything uh, more important things we're going to unlock them all so let's just grab some look at that more and more will unlock all right let's see how fast this will go all right look at that we are automating we are remaining seconds it's so fast crazy i look at the go look at the go look at the go oh nice look at look at that oh beautiful flashing lights right and now we get the lap speed going up then it's going to be a lot faster even more cool now we need to check it out this one is only 20 
Let's do this one. Let's check out how fast this will go. Look at that go. Look at that go. Look at that here. Check that out. Just a few seconds and that's done. How fast is that? Alright, let's do the next one. Landfill. Only 50. Let's do it. It's not that fast, but it's even fast enough to, yeah, make sure this is going to work. I wonder, should I expand this more and more? Because I think this will consume a lot of power. How do we check this? 1.6 megawatts of power. With all the inserters with that, it's 1.3 every 5 seconds. So we need to check out 1 minute maybe. 1.4, 1 almost one we can expand this one more time but maybe that's enough for now all right i will unlock everything in between i'm going to wait for the military science just make sure we got all the rest done just clicky 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 and this will be done soon cool i've been researching like crazy like you can see this almost done but we got a problem in here. To do all of the rest, we need to unlock all the processing. So let's first try to do something. I know we got the cars unlocked, so let's see. Can we make a car uh, with some steel, some engines, and all that stuff? Let's see. How do we make engines? Uh, steel also. Oh, yeah. We got steel. That's fine. Alright, this should be the last engine, because yeah, you need to make it in the assembler apparently, so let's craft a car. Uh, what do we need for the car? I think coal. So let's grab some coal, why not? A little bit of coal here, let's check it out. So we need to travel, so let's place the car just like so. Let's bring in the fuel some reserves why not let's jump into the car then we need to travel hmm which way oh there are the biters oh there are more oh we're getting close to the biters all the way to the right let's see if we can unlock something uh, also i need one thing that's a power pole down there so let's uh, bring the power all the way up to there should be fine all right this should be a straight line down here let's hope this will work maybe this is too much but should be okay cool so we need a pump shack pump shack pump shack something like this does it really matter i don't think so i think we only need to power this on to unlock that other one technology or processing done so why I've done this is because now we can of course do all the rest. So this one is here. I'm going to leave it like that. But we're not going to use it for now. I think we're going to take the trains if we got all of them. And then transport everything with a train. Should be a fun thing to do. Alright. So in the meantime everything is going to work like it should be. Then of course we're going to lock everything in the red and the green one. And we're going to set up a mall. Yeah, I'm going to set up a mall, I'm going to try to set up a mall, and then, of course, hope this will be correct, but that should be fine. But look at that. This moment I have set up almost everything at the mall. We check out the technology tree, there are only two left. I can do this, but I'm going to wait for that for now. Especially because the last setup that I need to make is the oil. And before I'm going to do that, look at that, how many trees. But I got a solution for that, so let's clear everything in here for now. We don't going to do it by hand anymore. No way. This is taking forever. Let's destroy it with grenades. Yes, even that's the thing that I've automated. Let's see. Right click. Okay. Oh, look at that. This is going crazy. How much faster is this? Just look at that. Even in the dark, it's looking nice. Destroy it all. Alright, everything is destroyed. Even the power poles. But that's okay, that's fine. We can fix this very quickly. Just replace them. 
look at that. Chup, 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 chup. All good. All right, let's get all of that oil. Pump checks everywhere. Let's see if we're going to drag it. So I was thinking, and yes, of course, I've made some of these uh, chemical power plants and all that stuff. So I was thinking making all the oil on the same place. So that's something like this. Let's check it out. We need crude oil. That's everything. That could be fine. So we're going to set up something in here. Let's make sure that I got some more room. I got a few more left. Let's do this. Okay, here we are in the chaos of, yeah, piping and all the crazy stuff. Look at that. But like you can see, I've placed these oil refineries, a lot of them. I think it's in each row 10, if I'm correct. Yes, 10, that's 20. I think it should be fine. So yeah, don't mind all the piping and all that stuff. I know it's not the nicest thing to see, but it's working. I'm happy with that. So what will this do? Been checking that out. Yeah, it's making petroleum gas. And the petroleum gas we're going to need for the rest. And yes, I've been trying to do the drains. Oh boy, this was a disaster, especially in the beginning. Now it's not working because the trains and everything is maxed out. Even all of these are maxed out. Maybe this is too much, it's overkill, but I was thinking, sure, why not? All right, let's uh, take a train, place it here, jump in there. Don't forget that because I have missed the trains so many times. All right, let's bring in some wood. So quickly, a uh, tip if you know this or not, I just figured that out. If you're going to a place and you don't want to manually drive down there, you can hold left control and then you got a, yeah, some green stuff in here. And then you can click, okay, I want to go to there. If you do that, look at that. You can travel just like that in the train. Was trying to place some stuff in here, but that's okay. And here we go, we're at the place. Let's grab the train with us because this will not work if we don't do that. So I've been unloading this also. You know, I can see it's not unloading because it's, yeah, it's still in there. I've been checking out the train stuff, uh, all that stuff. I have placed this at full cargo and then empty cargo. Yeah, something like that. I think that should be the way to do it. If not, please let me know in the comment because I think it's working. All right, I set up these chemical plants here. This one is for the sulfur. This one is for plastic. Don't know anything about these ratios. So I just placed some in there. It's eight in this one, eight in this one. Grabbing some gas and all that stuff down there and it works. So that's fine. And also I'm making this sulfur acid yeah sulfuric acid is it with some water some iron plates and then sulfur little buffer in here just in case all right that's done that's just the basic stuff of the oil that i can do but now let's check out the mole the mole don't mind all of this crazy stuff but it's still working perfect before we're going to start with the mole i'm going to show you one more thing i have set up this little bit in here I think it should be full lines every time with a little bit of balancing here and there. So we got our gears here, we got a couple cables here, we got even the iron sticks in here and then on this one we got the pipes because we're going to need a lot of pipes. You know the green circuits and all the basic stuff. All right. So I've made assembly machine with the normal one and the blue one and I was checking some things out like you can see we can also do another one. If I hold the left alt and I click on some item here in the menu then we can get this one the Factoriopedia. Love this thing. So for example if I go to the assembler I see we also got assembler tree. And this one is going to need an assembler too and then four speed modules so you can guess why i've done it like so we can bring this back if this one is done to this one this is not working because we're not making the advanced circuits yet 
we're going to do that but for now it's not working and they're all needing the same advanced circuits could be fine so we got electronic circuits we got advanced circuits that's the green and the red one it needs to go in here also been using these filters with the inserters it's working crazy you know already the inserters you can tell i've done that in the previous one and then of course we got the bulk inserters not working of course advanced circuits needed if we check out the inserters we get also the stackable inserter this is going to need a bulk inserter so this should want be going in here and then when that's done bring in all the rest we'll figure that out later on also that's why it's not the blue one it's just the normal one so I know, okay, this will get another recipe. Alright, the belt, not really that hard. Like you can see, we are jumping from one side to another. And we got the red belt, of course, in here. Iron gear is coming from on this one. Kind of looking alright. Also, one other thing I've noticed, if you place an assembler and you want to place this one in here, I was always thinking, yeah, we need to place it like so before it's going to work. But you can also place it like so. So this will work and bring it to yeah the box in here. But this is also going to work. We're going to bring it to the box in here. That's crazy. I love it. And then of course my lights are automated. We're always going to need some lights. Got a radar in here. Just to get some radars going. And I forgot this one. So that's why it's placed on this spot. We got too much already, but that's fine. And if you wonder why do I have two pistols already in here. Yes, I've been dying two times with the trains. Of course, why not? Alright, in this box we're going to bring in all the... Where is it? Here, wood. This will fill up this one and so on and so on. Then we can make some small electric poles in here. Look at that, how much that I got. And we have got more than enough. We get also the other ones in here. The medium electric pole. And of course the big electric pole. Like you see the recipes are just steel plates, iron sticks. That's why I needed iron sticks. Just to get this one already going. Also I set up some things here with the circuit stuff. I want to explain a lot of this but I really don't understand anything of this. So that's something I need to figure out later on. So that should be a fun thing. I think we're going to use it. But for now it's yeah just stored in here. So that's fine. Alright the next one. We got our rails. We got our what is this train stops. Yes. So we got the rail sign and sign signals. Not a strange thing how to use it. But I think I'm going to use a lot of rail signs. Just in case. Because I know it is one thing. The trains will yeah crash to each other if you don't place them. Uh, for the next thing, landfill. A lot of landfill. It's done. It's all maxed out. Because yeah, it's going very slow but it's all maxed out. Uh, this box is especially for if I got some stone in here. Then we can dump it in here. Perfect. i am already got a lot of stone furnaces. And we got also the steel furnaces. So every stone furnace can be upgraded to a steel furnace. I'm not going to do that yet because I don't think we need more. And yes, there is an option to get to the next one. Electric uh, furnace, I think that was, yeah. And of course, our foundations. This is the reinforced concrete. It's going to need the normal concrete that's been making. The normal concrete I'm making all the way down here yeah that's one spot i forgot to mention this one is going to need water some stone and then we can make some co normal concrete but this one is the refined concrete it's going to be stored in here and also we got this with the hazard concrete don't know if we're going to use it but we can so that's fine but this one will yeah if you can check it out you can see walking speed is 150 and if you do this, you can walk a lot faster. Oh yeah, a lot, lot, lot faster. How do you can delete this one? You can, yeah, do something like this. So if you use this one, destruction, 
it will not work. Just one quick tip that I found out is if I click on this one. So if I click this one and I'm holding the right mouse button, look at that. It's going to delete everything in the square. So that's much easier. And of course, this is all going to need water. Oh boy. Water sticks, all the crazy things. All right, the next one, chemical plants, oil refinery, chemical plants, some pump checks in here, perfect. I'm also making four of these just to get the engine units. It's very slowly, but look at that, it's already backed up. The reason why is, yeah, we're going to need that for the trains. I'm pushing some in there, locomotive is going to need it. I'm not making much, just a few, should be okay. And yes, I'm even got a car in here. And the reason why is because I'm going to destroy a lot of cars, I think, if I'm going to drive to the stones in there, the rocks, the big rocks. These are the ones that's going to destroy your car. So that's why I've placed it here. Ooh, it's just one, so that's fine. Then, of course, the pipes is needed. The cargo is just in here. Perfect. Uh, fluid cargo in here. And then this one is going to need the storage tank. And it's all connected. And then, of course, I forgot to do the pump shack, so I've placed this one in here. Solar panels. Really don't understand anything about that. I think it's just, yeah, energy if the sun is shining, but it's not always, so I don't know if this is a good one to use. But, of course, I've been storing some in here, so that's fine. Oh, yeah, and now the fun part for later on, I hope. So, we got grenades in here. Ooh, love it. Maybe I should make some more. Something like that. Oh yeah, that's fine. And let's grab some. I love it, I love it. Let's round this up a little bit. It's going to be slow and steady, but it's working. With a little bit of coal and a little bit of iron plates, it's working. This one, of course, is for the next, because I think there was another upgrade for this one. Again, we can check it out holding alt left click let's go to military cluster grenade and that's going to need yeah the grenade so if i unlock this i know i'm already making explosive and steel plates hmm yeah i'll figure that out later on because like i can see the explosives are already here maybe i need to redesign this a little bit for this one if that's one is unlocked all right but the bullets just the same one uh, piercing ground magazines there will be another one then we got the shotgun already made a shotgun i'm not going to automate all the shotguns and all that stuff uh, this one is also for the shotgun i think and yes we got the turrets we can use the turrets we're going to need that if we're going to attack the enemies the biters and all the crazy stuff and some walls and gates don't know if that's really necessary but we can make something nice and sweet with that all right, that was a quite a huge thing. Only thing left to do is yeah, get that red one up and running. And finally, I've done it. A few hours later, I finally fixed the problem. Or yeah, calculate this a little bit. This one is 450 each minute. You can check that out if you check the product statics. Yeah, this one, wait, let's say one minute. Around 450 should be per minute. It's crazy. I can double this and then we can get the full line, but 450 for now is good enough. It's really a lot of buildings. Look at that, how big, how crazy. So this one is 60 in total. You need 120, I think, something like that to get a full line. So I bring in the petroleum gas in here and the coal in here just to make the plastic all the same place. I'm not going to bring the plastic all the way here. I was thinking, let's add some pipes and it should be fine. And I can see it's working. At the moment, the design is working. Everything is fine. Oh, this one is already backing up. All right. Maybe I should do a balancing stuff. Something simple like this. I don't know if that's the perfect, perfect way to balance everything. But I think that's the easiest way for now. Bring everything into one side and or else the other side. Oh, yeah. We're making some yes that's perfect already 14 14 14 and 30 14 okay this is something new in the space age so quality modules minus five speed 
quality plus one percent i don't know if that's something good or not something later on i always use like the speed modules because we got a lot of speed quality is a little bit less but i don't know if quality should be an issue uh what is this this will reduce the energy okay and this one uh, it will consume a lot of energy minus the speed but you get four percent more mm, don't really like this one but okay it's working so that's fine let's check out if the other one is working oh yeah the green ones so i never use the green ones this one is what will this do hand stack one plus three. Oh, it's going to grab more resources at once i think hmm great this is getting slow can we check that out let's take it with us with spatial now for here just for example if we replace this all right it's going to take four in there that's one plus three. Oh, that uh, could be fun so it's better than the faucet source how much power does this use uh 169 oh yeah it's really a lot of power but all right all right that should be it I'm going to say thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next one. If you got some tips, tricks and all the crazy stuff, please let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye all.